Yay, welcome to Fly With Lauren, part of Art Fly Learn. So if this is the first time you've joined me on my channel today, thank you very much. I hope I will keep you and I hope you'll subscribe. Um, if you're returning, also thank you very much, I really appreciate you. So today I wanted to do a pick a pile, it's Independent Women's Day today and I'm all about my girls and becoming strong empresses within ourselves. So as I said I wanted to do a, a reading just for you guys. So I've picked three piles and I want you to spend a minute just having a little look at these piles and seeing what you're drawn to. If you need to pause um, the video at this point please do just so you can have that extra time but in front of you you've got pile one pile two and pile three. So I'm going to timestamp this video so you don't have to watch all of it if you don't want to, you can go straight to your pile. So check that in the link below and let's just jump in. So I'm going to knock pile two, pile three back and let's see what pile one's got to say. So I don't know what these messages are so I'm going to say, oh what a start though, yes, go pile one. Good energy. Right, you guys are bossing it. You guys are those working women out there. You definitely have got it going on when it comes to your work. So you definitely are the type of women that can have a job and a family, like you can do both. You're like superwoman in a way because they're like, how does she do that? How, how can she be the boss in this um, strong way, this empress and, um, and still manage to have that balance with family life and do all the other things in between so i feel like you guys are glowing up like six of wands energy so people are actually going to recognize you they're really going to see you and um, see you in all your glory it's very leo energy so they see how confident you are they see how passionate you are how creative you are and um, so i feel like um there might be something brand new that you're about to leap into Again, it might be something that is your innate passion, your innate talent, you're the high priestess here. So it's like, you are a very spiritual person. It could even be doing something extremely spiritual. So whatever it is, you need to trust your gut that this is what you're supposed to do. For many of you, this might include people around you within this business because you've got the three of clubs here. So this opportunity I feel might not be a venture that you're doing just yourself. It's either with a loved one, with a friend, um, or it's as part of a team. So it could just be that um, like there's really crucial people that have a different skill set, which is gonna be a really good attribute to your business as is. So I feel like this is looked, uh, it looked. I feel like this has got a good look supporting it and surrounding it. It's something which is connected to your wishes as well. So dream big, basically. I just see that you guys really do have to dream big. And again, I feel like maybe you've been talking about this for a pretty long time and it's been kind of under wraps, but now new moon and Aries, it's time to take action. So if you haven't fully launched this business yet, it's telling you that within, because we're in a Piscean moon at the minute and it's essentially the end of the astrological um, year. So it, it ends on Pisces and it begins again in Aries. So I don't think we're quite in Aries season, what are we like a week two off? So it's telling me that you need to take action like within the next week or within now, like go. This is about driving forward, it's about your success. It's saying be bold, get yourself out there, make that start. So this is definitely the working women group. And it's just saying like the time to shine is now. So I am very proud of you group one and don't let anything hold you back. Whatever you don't have answers to yet, it's telling you that you already know, like you guys already know, you've already trusted your gut to get this far. Don't let anything hold you back now. Is there anything that you guys need to know specifically, any advice? Yeah, so the water fairy. So this is all about your emotions. It's all about being passionate about what you do. So if it doesn't feel good, if your heart space doesn't feel like it's like good enough for your authentic, then you shouldn't be doing it. It's about being very in tune with your emotions. Although I feel like this is about a really strong balance between um, your head and your heart, I feel like you have to really be ruled by your heart with quite a lot of the big decisions that you might need to make within this. So that's your advice. So you've got to do it because you're passionate about it. So good luck, pile one, and I'm very excited about whatever this new start might be. For some of you, if this isn't business, this is like, it could just be saying that you've, you're bringing about your own beginnings. It could be moving house. It could be 
like completing a cycle of something else and just being about to jump into that whether it's I don't know what that could be for you like study or like um, maybe if you've had a divorce it's like right now I'm free and I'm ready to like get out there again there's something about something brand new so the seed of opportunity that you're going to go with because you've been given it right so I hope that resonates part one if it does please drop it in the comments and tag in any people give it a like I really appreciate that thank you so welcome pile two and um, let's see what your message has got to say. Yes, right. So I was feeling in love with this one. Um, so pile two, I feel like this is telling me, it's bringing it back home. So it's, it, it's telling me that this is within your home environment. It's telling me that this is very much within your heart chakra. I'm seeing lots of green here, lots of pink. Um, for many of you, um, I'm just seeing this. I'm seeing that if you haven't felt your heart space feel um, absolute joy, it's like the promise of. So this is telling me that this could just be with another. So it could be someone within your family. So it could be a friend or a close family member, something that you maybe have been wishing for for them. Um, because for me, this is like the once in a blue moon card. I know it's not. I do actually specifically have a card of that, but it's like saying, believe in the impossible. So there's something about this. This could be connected to somebody's health or um, yeah, or something that you've just been wishing for somebody. I just feel like this is very much heart space and healing. So you've got the growth card here. So pile two, you women may have felt like you've been triggered and challenged and um, yeah, just like doof, 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 maybe like one thing after the next after the next, but it's because they're trying to make you self grow. They're trying to make you become very healthy. Um, the, the advice basically, is it's where we're at now so you guys are actually listening to your bodies you're very aligned so it's a virgo energy so it's a time to give so time to give rather than to take so i feel like maybe there's a friend or somebody around you that feels that they need your healing words or your healing advice um i think they see that you see so clearly or, or maybe maybe because you've been going through something else it's saying that with the ace of swords here I feel like you have got extreme mental clarity to see clearly ahead now. So, um, especially when it comes to your heart space. So you have got love on the way or you're feeling this renewed heart space, this new loving energy come in because it's um, in Sagittarius energy. It's telling you that I feel like maybe you didn't have a lucky spell or like it's been a bit of a slog or one thing after the next. I feel like potentially you've surrendered something because you've got the devil in reverse. So with the devil in reverse, often this can be something that feels quite toxic in your life and you've managed to cut it off. Um, I just feel like this is something that maybe had a hold of you uh, th these could even be like certain substances. It could be, um, I don't know, drinking, drugs, cigarettes. You could have given something up. It could have been a lifestyle that you had that you've cleaned up. Maybe you've introduced exercise or this healthy sort of Virgo and energy into your life. This, yeah, just cleaning up your lifestyle. But for many of you, this could be a, like maybe a toxic relationship that you've surrendered and you're welcoming the healthy in. But whatever it is, I just know that you've realized that you own your power and that you own your own mind and that you're seeing things for exactly what they are. You're very, very authentic women. You're strong-minded. And yeah, you don't accept things that aren't true, that don't feel good for you. So I'm just feeling very empowered by this group of ladies and I'm loving the messages that are coming through because I just feel so much healing and you operate from a lovely space of the heart. I mean, also from your head as well. So I feel like you're in perfect balance. Let me see what messages of advice we have for pile two. What messages of advice are there for pile two, please? Right, so restriction. So whatever this old expired way of thinking was, you feel free. So you've realized that you don't have to remain in these toxic cycles. You can forge your own way forward by removing or sidestepping all the burdens and all the things that have been, yeah, not serving you in life, like you finally see. So again, this might be um, something that you'd endured for a long time because with the ace of swords it takes many 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 steps and 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 lots of time go by until you finally have this clarity whatever it is that you were seeking for for your truth it's like you finally know what it is and you've chosen to release anything that holds you back 
you're moving forward. You want, you want to move forward, you're ready to move forward and, and you, you strike your arrow and you're going for it. So that's what I feel for you, for you Collective 2 and I really hope that resonates. If it does, please drop it in the comments, please give it a like and please subscribe. Right Collective 3, let's get your pile and let's see what's within your energy. I had, have no idea what um, this pile's about, but I'm excited to see. You guys have been going through something um, th that's caused you a lot of stress. You've had a lot of worry on your plates. It's telling you that I feel like you've had a real tough cycle because you've got the Ten of Swords here. So I just feel like you guys have been going through a lot of pain. You've also got the Five of um, Discs here, which is a card of worry. So um, it's like you're just ready. It's about what you have around you or what you need or about your children because this is a Taurus energy. So it's I just feel like this it might be either surrounding... Um, for some of you actually this could be career it could be financially um because it's second house so it's about your work but others because this is a taurus energy it could be um somebody younger than you somebody um who are your children or just that phase of like what you need around you that you don't feel that you've had or that um or that something's been shaken or that you you've um got worry within that sector so it tells me that you are aligning because you've got the ace of clubs so this is like my death, like my card of 2020. It's the whole realignment. It's making sure that you are now much more aligned um, spiritually, physically, mentally. It's like you've awakened. So something within you has awakened and you see much more clearly. You see where you're going. You see your purpose. You see why you're here. You're seeing the signs. So I feel like... Um, what you need to know is anything that you're worried about, you've already got the protection here because you've got the cross. So you're being looked after. Um, I feel like with the tree here as well, something has tried to shake in your leaves and, it, and it's making you um, become strong and to be able to withhold the seasons of the year. So maybe you feel like you're going through the winter season where all your leaves are being shedded around you, where your twigs feel like they've been broken. You just feel like you've gone through the mill a bit with something emotionally that it's telling you that like you need to close off the cycle, believe that you're being protected and believe that your roots are so deep and that you're so connected and you're so earthed and grounded that the universe has got you. Um, and again, this is Taurus energy, so it's exactly the same energy of what I was saying. It's about what you need. You've got Taurus here. So it's telling me about your dreams as well, that your dreams need a very practical plan. You might even need to ask the universe for their help. You might need to ask for your angels to say, oh, you know, whatever this worry is, please help me get through it. Please help my family get through it, whatever it is. Um, again, it's telling me not to be... Um, not to be too concerned by what others are saying. This is about you. It's not about the opinions of others because you've got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Swords. It's exactly the same card. So um, it tells me that maybe other people are putting their pennies worth into something or people are talking and you're not, you don't like it. It's like you don't need it. Whatever that is, it's like your opinion matters. What, um, what you want to move forward with, your truth is the one that's the important one. You need to speak up, use that voice and say what you need. So with this group, I just know that whatever your worries are, I feel like they're um, temporary because you've got the sun here. So if it's truth that you've been looking for in a situation, if you feel like maybe someone's deceived you, it's like everything's coming, like the sun is here and it's gonna shine and you're gonna hear whatever's been kept secret or what's been kept under wraps. If it's financial, it's gonna get better because the sun's here. So it's gonna give you that. After you've done this whole self growth and you survived the winter, it's like, you're, it's that promise of that new healthiness, that new growth, the new inspiration, the new ideas, the new starts, all the things that you feel like you've been held back by. And if it, this is by health, it's like, here comes the sunshine. So just trust that you're being protected and just know that your inner child's gonna come out, that you're gonna feel happy again. So for many of you, this is about like your happiness because based on something of what you need or by Taurus energy. So it could be, like I said, it, your happiness within work or your happiness because of your children or something within that but the new moon is coming the new start is coming and as i said we are nearly at the end of the astrological year because i think we're even in the piscean um so the piscean month is now so in the next couple of weeks we start the new astrological year with aries so a new start's coming a new moon's coming within the week and 
I just feel like this is going to bring about some fresh energy, some new energy, something that you're going to feel good about, something that you're going to feel revitalized about and positive about, like, because you see, like, you can see your way forward, whereas there's something where you felt like you've been held back by something that's happening or something that you feel stuck by or something that you've had this constant worry over. So let me see what the advice is for pile three. Right, a lot of you, this is um, health, health, because it's a snake. Um, it can be about worry and things that had happened before within a cycle, maybe of feeling hurt, and it's telling you to shed the old skin of the past, to be able to heal yourself. Um, and it, it's about knowledge. So maybe if there was something that you didn't know before with the sun here, maybe that's brought something out that allows you to be able to move on or heal something or to move forward. Let me see what's at the bottom of the deck in terms of the energy. So a lot of these are about, uh, it's the cat energy. So it can be about independent, want, uh, independence. So wanting to do things for you. You know, how we're saying about the interference of some form of communication, which is like, clouded your mind slightly or something it could be that you need to have healthy boundaries on certain parts of what you're doing whether this is like in your relationships or whether this is in work it, it, a lot of it is just shouting boundaries because that's going to be healing for you as well to unburden yourself of things that aren't your burdens so i hope that really resonated with all of you i hope that you will come and fly with lauren again soon and if you haven't already please give this a like please subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any future videos with me again and i will really appreciate that reciprocated energy so thank you very much and keep being that strong sassy empress that you know you are so for now take care peace out